Okay guys, on today's video, we're gonna be setting up your iPhone 11 Pro. So let's just get started right here. You guys will see your power button or some people even call it the Siri button because that's what you're gonna use for Siri. But you guys can also use Hey Siri, by the way. Anyways, let's just get started. Let's just press that to turn on our iPhone 11 Pro. And just hold that until you guys see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, just let it load. It's not gonna take too much time. You're gonna see this message. All you guys have to do is swipe up. Once you swipe up, you guys will see the options for languages. So set up whatever language you guys like, such as English. Region, same thing. You guys can choose US, Canada, whatever country. And quick start. So quick start isn't that quick anymore. So if you guys had a device from before, maybe another iPhone or even iPad for that matter, you guys can put it right beside your iPhone. Just turn on Bluetooth from it. And then those guys will kind of sync up. It's just gonna transfer some information, but you're still gonna have to transfer almost everything again anyways. So this quick start isn't that quick. So we're just gonna set up manually for now. And what quick start does do is set up your Wi-Fi. So it does sync that information up. Right now, since we're doing it manually, this is the manual part where you just have to put in your, your password for your Wi-Fi. So let's just tap right there. Once you put your password, this is gonna pop out. So it's just gonna load, load, load. By the way, if you maybe don't have the best router, best Wi-Fi, and you want to hook it up directly to your computer to set it up, yes, you can. So you guys can always use the cable that came with your iPhone in order to finish that setup. Anyways, let's just continue on. Face ID. So with Face ID, all we have to do for the setup is move your face up and around, and then it's gonna capture all the sides of your face so you can know who you are. So we're just gonna hit on continue. And here we go, we're just gonna get started. And here we go. So that's all you guys have to do is just move your head around a little bit so it detects all the sides. Hit on continue, create a passcode, just in case for those of you who want to see more options. Here we go, passcode options, and we can even change this later on as well. Anyways, right now we're just gonna create one. I suggest it's not a simple one like this one. So, and you guys, if you just forgot your passcode, you can go change password right now, right? Just before you finally set it up. So we're gonna use anyway, we're gonna enter it back. So this is the most important part about your setup in here. So if you're gonna transfer your iCloud stuff, so if you guys had another iPhone, and you want to transfer everything here, it's just through iCloud. Just put in your iCloud ID in restore from iCloud backup, and that's it. That's all you guys have to do. It's gonna transfer everything, except for passwords. Email passwords and all that, you're gonna to have to do it again, unless you guys had a backup. Anyways, right now you guys can restore from Mac or PC, so you guys can hook it up. You guys can also move stuff from Android, it's not the best. And if you guys are brand new into this iPhone world, then don't transfer apps or data. So we're gonna assume that you guys are brand new, so we're gonna go right here. And then you would create an app ID, which is right down here. And then create app ID. And then just go through the steps. All you guys need is an email. Not an iCloud email, just an email, okay? So I'm gonna go back, so I'm gonna show you guys that. For those of you who are brand new, others, just put in your app ID and you're set to go. And yes, you guys can even skip out the steps about creating stuff with your Apple ID. So what you guys can do is always go here in the second option, which I just showed you, and you guys can set up later in settings, and that way nothing gets transferred to this, which is not great, because I always, always suggest you need an Apple ID even to download basic app social media. So I highly suggest putting in your Apple ID and everything will get transferred here. However, let's say you guys want to skip this for some reason. You guys can, you guys can go into setup later in settings. We can just put don't use and it's gonna take us through the next steps. So let's just press agree. Now the setup right now, it's gonna be the same thing whether you guys put in iCloud or not. It's just gonna take a lot more time than uh, doing this if you're putting your iCloud because your iCloud will bring in all your apps from before, you know, all your data that got backed up. So right now we're just gonna continue on. We're gonna continue on. This is up to you guys. If you guys want to disable locations or enable locations, I highly suggest just enable it so you guys can use GPS and everything. Hey Siri is great, so you guys don't have to touch this button to, in order to use Siri. You guys can also speak to your iPhone and um, not have to press anything, okay? Kind of like if you guys had a, 
a Google Home, you would say, hey Google. In this case, you guys would say, hey Siri. So let's just go and continue. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. And there we go. So that's all set up. So again, if you guys want to use Hey Siri, you guys can literally just say Hey Siri and your phone will talk to you. Um, you won't have to press this button, the home button. Well, it's not the home button, this power button. It's also the Siri button. If Hey Siri is not working for some reason, so you guys can also touch that. Anyways, let's just continue on. Right now, it's screen time. This is more if, I would say, if you wanna set up restrictions on your phone. Screen time, it's kinda of cool for some people to see how much they're using their phone, all that stuff. But for most of you, most likely if you have kids and this is for your kids, you're gonna set up screen time because inside of there, it's all the restrictions that you guys can do. So you guys can restrict apps, you guys can restrict a lot of stuff, even the time that they use their phone or games, okay? So the time that they're gaming and stuff, that you guys could time that and set up all these restrictions that you could. Anyways, right now we're just gonna hit on set up later in settings. Because most of you, this is your personal iPhone and you just won't care about restrictions. So you guys can choose to share or not share. I always suggest just sharing with Apple. Same deal with this. And this is good to see. So if I touch this, so you guys will see a difference in the screen. And it's always good to see that difference. So just for you guys to know what your phone's doing in the background, continue on. Dark mode or light mode. So dark mode is kind of cool. Okay, but for purposes of this tutorial, we're just gonna leave it light because you can just record better. But other than that, I like dark mode. Let's just continue home. So it tells you a little bit about what you guys should know right away. So I'm gonna continue on, switch between recent apps. Yep, and then quick access controls, gonna tell you to swipe down. And that's about it. So we can just swipe up and continue on. So to show you the very, very, very basics because I do have a manual how to use this phone and every iPhone actually for that matter in my channel. I'm just going to show you some basics that you should know before you get started. So let's say I opened up this app then to take it down and then to minimize it. Let's say camera um, allow. I'm going to take it down. Weather take it down. Don't allow. Take it down. Okay. So you saw how I minimized all these apps, right? So if I open this one, I can minimize it by just doing that, swiping up. But let's say you guys want to view all those apps again, because they're not really close. You just minimize them. All you guys have to do is go like this, up to here, slide, and then you guys can see all the apps that we just opened up right now. And to fully close them, we can just swipe up. And that's how you fully close them, so they're not making your phone laggy. You may notice that if you never closed apps before or fully closed them. Something else that you guys should know, yes, it's swiping like this. So you guys get these options, okay? You can swipe up. From the middle down, you will see other options. See, your notifications. So you will be seeing stuff here, access to your camera, all that stuff. If you swipe like this, you will see other stuff coming up, okay? So there's a lot of stuff that's gonna come up. Your search, so you guys can search through all the apps that you guys have. And to download any apps that you may want, it's always in your app store. So it's bare minimum that I could teach you right now in this hurry. Other than that, we're pretty much done. This is the setup for your phone. If you guys have more questions about how to use it and everything, or even why it didn't take this off, that's because I haven't bought the screen protector yet. I don't want to get any scratches on it. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys want to check out the manual, check it out right here in my channel. I'll be showing you how to use everything. For those of you who haven't inserted your SIM card, I forgot to mention that, it's right here. I do have a separate video showing you guys how to insert your SIM card, but most of you already have it in there. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.